This country says it was founded on fundamental values of justice, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But these core beliefs are under threat. We're spending more money incarcerating people than educating them. Mass shootings continue to terrorize the nation. A wealthy few profit off the destruction of our environment. And children are being caged and separated from their families. These systems of oppression were built by people. They persist because Congress doesn't have the moral clarity and courage to fight and to defend our democracy. Ultimately, they've proven unwilling to secure the American promise for our people. But we can change that. My mom is Ilhan Omar. 23 years ago, in a refugee camp, she was hearing about that American promise. Prosperity for all, and hope for a better tomorrow. And when her family got here, they worked hard for that promise. My grandfather worked at the post office. My aunt cared for patients who couldn't afford health insurance. And my mom has been a working person her whole life. From cleaning offices in Bloomington and Richfield, to working at call centers in Minneapolis. She's always been an organizer. Her grandfather taught her that if you want a certain world, you need to fight for it. She's fought for better wages alongside her union, for civil rights with the NAACP, for healthy foods for our poorest communities, and for a seat at the table and a voice for women like her, women like me. And now she's running for Congress to continue that fight. For tuition-free and debt-free college, Medicare for all, housing as a human right, abolishing ICE and private prisons, clean elections that cannot be bought, and an economy that works for all of us, not just the wealthy few. We need a democracy that guarantees a more equitable and just society that gets us closer to the American promise. The America my mom believes in. The America we deserve. <laughs>